Hey there, YouTubers. Rand here again. Yeah, I thought I'd do another video. That was, you know, I did one on my truck here last time, so I thought this time, well, after having this camper here for uh, a little over two years now and uh, getting some good mileage out of it, I thought I would uh, go over my camper again and um, show you some of the upgrades I've done to the camper since I've had it. Okay, it's a, a Lance uh, 2017, no, 2018 Lance uh, 975. So it has one slide where the dinette slides out when we get over to that side. So uh, let me walk around the camper on the outside first. We'll go on the roof and take a look at what I got up there. And then uh, we'll go inside, okay? Let's do this. Okay, so on this side of the camper, starting on this side, you know, we got the big awning. Same awning from the original. Do have a little patch in that corner. I did scrape it one time, and so got that going. Here we have the propane here, and this door here, and here. I got one bottle out right now getting refilled. Got to put that back in. So it runs with two five gallon bottles. And this drawer here, this is where I just keep my electrical cords when we're traveling. Just a little compartment. Um, here we got the, the heater. Here, is uh, for uh, winterizing the water pump access. I do have my hose in here for when I want to fill up my water. I just open this door here and put the water in like this. And I just turn a valve on the other side, which I'll show you, and it just fills up my, my tank when I'm sitting at a place where you can get water. Um, here's the heater, and I got the fast jacks, the fast guns holding the camper down, and then again I showed my new tires here. I need to get new rims, but those are, I took off the plastic, the plastic hubcaps and just went with the black. I can get to the valve stems real easy, but these are Goodyear KO2 all-terrain tires, 11 ply, so they're really good for the, really good for the truck and the camper. And the windows, you know, dual pane tinted. Okay, coming around to the front of the camper. Which I showed a couple of times. You know, with this camper here, I had a satellite t a satellite radio. But I had to make a little mount and mount the antenna out here because that one was blocked by the camper. So now it works just fine. So the only difference here is the lance is missing off the top. That's because we've gotten those um, monsoon rains in Arizona and they just pounded us. And uh, first time I went to wash it, it came off. Looks like I need to wash the camper. And then uh, over on this side, got my CB antenna running up. And this is how far we got going. We're trying to get to all the states. And we got to all the states except for these ones right here, these four right here in Alaska. So that's what we're planning on doing. And the jacks. And okay, let's start over here. We'll start with the refrigerator intake and uh, exhaust there and slide toppers. Okay, as I was saying, I added two fans. I got them mounted on the inside of that grill up there. And so when the fan comes on the refrigerator about 110, 115 degrees, those actually kick on. And it just really pulls the heat that's building up inside the refrigerator. Because this side of the camper used to get hot when the refrigerator was running on propane, but now it doesn't. And uh, moving around, this right here, this compartment here, this is our battery box, okay? 
and I'm running two uh, Battleborn lithium batteries in here and that's really sufficient for what kind of camping we do uh, maybe I could go with one more but it hasn't been an issue yet and I did it this is all sealed up too because they're lithium batteries they don't have to breathe like before so this keeps the heat out and the cold then over to here this is another compartment that I kind of keep all my outside stuff in stuff here um, air compressors propane bottles fire starters this is all mis mis miscellaneous stuff and then down here this is our uh, plug for short power I'm plugged into the house right now but in here this is where our, our dumps at our our gray water black water and then I put in this header down here so over here on the side over here on the side the water is plugged in over here and I can go shore water I can there's a valve right here I can turn on that fills up my tanks and I can even flush out my black and there's a check valve on that and then behind the shower I put in a big uh, filter system two-stage filter system so all the water that comes in the camper is filtered through a two-stage filter actually three because there's a filter on the main water and then there's a filter two-stage filter there and then it goes into the camper okay and then on the back of the camper the camper's a little dirty at the moment got another slide uh, another uh, awning here on the back and there's some backup camera and lights we've got the ultra step this whole thing and you'll see it slides in when we're traveling but here i store my hoses and steps here what do i got in here oh yeah this is for this is for dumping some stuff there and here is uh leveling blocks here on the other side here, you can't see it. Maybe you can't. See this tube I added here? That holds our uh, dump hose. All right. And then um, we have a ladder that goes up to the top. I'll, I'll take you up to the top and show you that. I added this barbecue on here. This is a marine barbecue. Oh man. I do so much more barbecuing now because it's right here handy. And then, right here, is our generator. 2,500 generator. It's big enough to run the air conditioning and everything I need. And over here, we have an outdoor, we have another big compartment here that I run, okay, so I can run extra diesel fuel here extra gas for the generators um portable generators and extra water i carry fishing poles or guns or whatever i want to do whatever i'm going different times different things and that's pretty much a walk through around it the only thing i want to point out on this side again was up here that's the exhaust for the stove and then we do have outdoor speakers over here and that cord I was telling about the TV, I do have that plugged in my garage right now. And it's running this TV over here. So this is satellite TV from uh, the camper. All right, so uh, let me close this on and we'll go up on top and I'll show you the solar panels I got. Okay, up on top here, you can see I got uh, one, two, three, Four solar panels, all 200 watts, all 100 watts each. This is my satellite TV here. This is a fishing pole carrier here in the middle. Air conditioning and TV. Uh, and then there's my WeBoost over there, that black antenna. And I'm running these uh, vent guards over my uh, vents inside. Then I have this big sport rack that I carry uh, some fishing poles, some 
some uh, mud grip tires and an awning and a couple other things I guess just like a little garage my little weather station here this here I like this little thing I put this on only when I'm parked tells me the wind speed the outside temperature and if there's rain how much rain we got but anyways this is the roof let's go inside now okay before we step inside i wanted to point out my barbecue i do have a cover on that um when i'm not using it when we're traveling so it's got a good rainproof cover on it and if i like i do have these two portable gas generators sometimes where depending on where i'm going i might grab one of these just as a backup to this one all right so as we go in the inside of this uh camper first thing right off the bat you'll see this drawer right here this is a long drawer and basically we just keep our cleaning supplies toilet paper and uh paper towels and other things like that into here and it just shuts that and then when you step inside i got the slide open Here we are inside the camper. This is where I'll do my computer work. So because we don't have a couch, we do have two pillows like this. Pam sits there, I sit on that side with the same thing. But, so anyways, here's the camper controls for the slides and outside lights here, some of that. Uh, generator. This is the other propane monitor I was talking about. Uh, water tanks. Let me turn that off. This is our water tanks for, so the water's on, gas, heater, electric heater, battery, fresh water, black water, gray water, radio with DVD player. No Blu-ray, just DVD. Inside here, I do have my Wii Boost in here, and my antenna's over here. If I move it over here, that turns green in there and it all works. We have a microwave, three burner stove, plus an oven. Oh, well, I wanted to point these out here. If I'm plugged in, this is my heater. If I'm boondocking, I gotta use propane. But this has a little thermostat control. This little heater, it heats up this whole camper really good. This is a little uh, humidifier here. That's great. This here is cooler. It's like a water cooler. And it plugs in right up here behind the TV. I put in these extra plugs up here. And if I'm boondocking and I got no electricity, <laughs> and say I don't want to run my generator at night or something and it's hot, I just plug that in up there and it runs on 12 volt and it cools this whole lower space down here just fine. Over here at the sink, um, this is the one big sink that comes with it. I did add in the soap dispenser here. Here's our coffee pot. Um, down here are some more lights. I got a plug here with a switch that runs off my inverter. I have a 1500 watt inverter in uh, Pure Wave, and I can plug the coffee pot in there if I'm boondocking, and I can get my coffee pot to work. Okay, um, here's my outside. That's that thermometer thing I was showing you on the roof up there. This is it for in here. Our pantry. What I did at our pantry, you know, we elected to go to the shelf because Pam said she can get more food in there, more canned food, but the shelves would all fall down while we're traveling. So I reinforced all the shelves underneath with wood all the way around. And uh, they never fell down again. Uh, solar controller up here. This thing will bring in about uh, Oh, about 19 amps of solar, 20 amps of solar uh, when it's really going. 
over on this side okay our table folds down into another bed if you want it we have pull out drawers underneath here oh i do run a separate freezer down here it's running at about three degrees right now this is for when i'm fishing i can put my uh, fish in here then we have a little basket stand underneath there and it really doesn't get in the way of anything and I put in jacks down there to plug it in so it's running right now it's three degrees that's pretty cool I do have a freezer up here but this one here this one gets a lot cooler than the camper freezer this one here uh, I got some racks of ribs up there and freezer refrigerator is pretty big carries all my beer so that's good walkie talkies in case we need them um we have a sky we have the this fan here that works air conditioning the tv 12 volt and like i said it's hooked up to satellite tv and if the air conditioning is running i got a sound bar up here so I put that in so I could hear the TV with the air conditioning running. And, and this is where the cord runs down through here and out to the outside, which I was talking about. Um, this is our bathroom. We have a dry bath. We replaced the toilet with a porcelain toilet. Uh, it's really good, foot flush. The sinks. We replaced all the plastic uh, faucets. Same with the shower and the shower faucet. Um, in here, the cab. I added these here that so when you open it, nothing falls out. And we have another fan in there. Um, the bedroom up here. We have a big queen bed. Pam has a storage over there. I have storage over here and a little box over here. I have another cooler up here, a swamp cooler here, in case we're boondocking and uh, we have no electricity. I just turn that on and it keeps us cool while we're sleeping. It's really great. We have a big closet here. Um, there's my satellite TV up there. It's connected up to the battery, so I can be out in the middle of the desert and I get uh, satellite TV. The closet's pretty good. I, I, I just keep all my big jackets and stuff in there. And then on this side, I have all my pants and shirts and stuff. And the bed, the bed's really comfortable. We put in this Rolly system and my god it's like a whole new world sleeping but when I run this fan up here in the boondocking it just plugs in down there and it's great just add water to it it'll run all night I ha usually have this open so it vents really good and I just sleep like a baby it can be a hundred degrees outside and I'm cool up here with that fan up there running so, uh, as far as the inside, and then, then my, my batteries are under the seat, my inverter's under this seat. Um, put all that in down there. And that's pretty much the inside of the camper, guys. Yeah. All the windows. I do have these uh, silver uh, coverings that I could put over the windows. Makes it really dark, plus it keeps the heat out. Of course, we've added all these hooks. Air conditioning works great. It's got uh, the sound system with this thing over here. I can get surround sound really good. But of course, it can't run no Blu-rays. It has to be normal. Uh, normal uh, DVDs anyways um, that's pretty much the camper uh, the camper layout 
it's pretty good for just two people I think it's there's really ample room I put in these level things here so when we pull in I can see if we're level or not emergency flashlight always ready to go TV controllers um, these got pull out drawers you kind of slanted here we got under the sink stuff going on here really it really got apple storage for everything that uh, we do this little controller here is new so this is telling me the refrigerator temperature right now and the freezer temperature so that's the difference this freezer is running at 19 degrees plugged in and this one down here is running off my batteries running at three degrees so when we're out traveling we had a problem keeping our ice cream cold so now with this one down here let me open it up uh, i'm not gonna have no problem with my ice cream in fact i got ice cream here now and it's frozen good <laughs> this is this is really cool it's great for uh when I go fishing, I'll just throw my fish in there from now on. All right, guys. Let me step out, outside here. Well, that's the camper tour. Um, probably missed something here or there, but that's after two years of traveling. That's what we still got. So we'll see you on the next trip. Um, don't know exactly when it's going to be. I don't know if it'll be a fishing trip or going to be traveling somewhere I'm going to do something but I haven't got a, uh, a date on it yet but we'll talk to you soon bye